Raiders with a surprising victory last week. While the Bengals, well, they're still showing some fight, you could say. No, you can't say. Don't say. Showing some fight. Yeah, they showed some fight last week, but come on, they're done. They know it. They know they're going to have a new coach after the season probably. Mar- Marvin Lewis is done. And when you, look at, when you look at this Raiders team, I was astounded they played as well as they did against the Steelers. I'll be honest with you. And you saw John Gruden. He was still into it. The team looked like he was still into it. And this is a team I thought, what do I say? They go to Cabo. They're yeah. done. Yeah. They, didn't, they haven't gone to Cabo. They haven't made those reservations yet. They played hard last week against the Steelers. <laughs> I, I, I mean, look. For $10 million a year, too, I'll, I'll coach real hard. All no, not him. Years. I'm talking about the players. They uh, used to I go to said, You said he was into it. Of course you're going to no. be into over $10 million a year. Um, it, it, when you look at this matchup, I'm not really sure what you want to pick out between these two teams because obviously they are looking forward to 2019. A lot of evaluation based on what they have on their roster. Um, you, you look at Reggie McKenzie, though, getting fired this past week, their general manager. For both of us, I think we both knew that was a foregone conclusion. It was going to happen after the year, the way John Gruden's handled the roster. Is it a bit surprising, though, that it happens in season? No, because he's kind of been fired already since September. I mean, they, they've had a split inside that building. John Gruden has his guys. Reggie McKenzie has his guys. That's never a good thing when you have two factions fighting each other over players. You don't think it was maybe about John Gruden being reminded of how well Marty Cooper and Cleo Mack are playing every time no. you looked at Reggie McKenzie I, in the office? Uh, no, because I, you know, who knows? Reggie McKenzie might have wanted to get rid of him, too. Who knows? You don't know. We don't know that. Nobody knows that. I have, we, it's easy to put it on John Gruden, but uh, look, bottom line is, Gruden has the power. Are you power. serious with that? Gruden who, who else do you think they're going to put it on? Well, it's you think on the guy that drafted those two players wants to trade them away? Money. The owner could have said, I'm not paying him, oh, too. Oh, don't even give me that, that whole storyline. So, like, there's no truth to that. Hey, they have, they have money issues. If you can get financing for a stadium, you can get financing to go ahead and pay for yeah. some of those big Talk contracts. to the cap guys around the league. They wonder. But the bottom line is, Gruden's in control. He has the power. He has the juice. And you know what they say, the guy with the juice makes, uh, makes all the decisions, and the decision was to get rid of Reggie McKenzie. Okay, well, then make a decision on who you think is going to win this game because Oakland travels to Cincinnati. They'll be facing Jeff Driscoll. You can't go into Cincinnati and beat Jeff Driscoll, okay? I'm taking the Bengals. <laughs> you just said they gave up on the season. <laughs> Look, this one, this is another upset for me. I think the Oakland Raiders, based on what you said, they carry that momentum. They go into Cincinnati. I believe Derek Carr is going to be able to get it done. He's going to outduel Jeff Driscoll. And even though Joe Mixon's become a bigger part of the offense since Driscoll has taken over, I think the Raiders get another win. All right.